Hey, you all, and good morning. Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south. More specifically, we are in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Even more specifically than that, we are here at Dollywood. And it is actually Jen's very, very first time. Do people sing that here? Uh, no, <laughs> just you. Just Dollywood! I mean, people, like, there's certain songs that are associated with Dolly Parton. <laughs> Dollywood is her. She never sang a song. Who sings that? It was Jolene. A, it's a jo uh, the Hollywood song. It's George Clooney's aunt. Oh, Rosemary Clooney. Rosemary Clooney. Yes. But uh, yeah, yeah, first day here at Dollywood. First time. First time yeah. here at Dollywood. Ever. Ever. So, Ever. So you have to give us your impressions of Dollywood. I've been here quite a few times. Hot. It is very warm today. Very warm today. But one of the things uh, definitely wanted to check out is they have finally opened the Dolly Parton Experience. Now they've all, they, they classically had a Dolly Parton Museum um, here on property, which was actually one of my favorite attractions here. You know, it's a very nice place to cool off and, and, and learn about Dolly Parton. But uh, they've completely that they've gutted it, they have renovated it, they have completely redone it as the Dolly Parton Experience. So definitely want to check that out today and. We'll just give Jen a, a, a kind of a, a look through the park and, and she'll tell us what she thinks. A nine to five tour. A nine to five tour. Yes. All right, please <laughs> follow us. And before we even get in the door, we have this great photo op here. Oh, I'm not supposed to run into it that you're showing. Like, I could ban a white it for you. No, no, no. You're supposed to stand, oh, you're supposed oh. to stand in front of it. There you go. <laughs> yeah, see the, all these rides here? That's the Wild Eagle my shirt right there. My that's, uh, I think, the Dragon Flyer. That's uh, Thunderhead. That's Dippin' Dots. There's a Dippin' Dots <laughs> down there. But yeah, you, before you even head into the park, you can go ahead and get your uh, selfie made in front of this, uh, this scene. It really allowed, includes a lot of the rides here. I'm not sure where they're actually standing in the park to get the view of this many rides. This may be a composite photo. I'm not sure. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, you Is can see... Another Oh, this is the acorn. There's log. like a spinning acorn ride. Yeah, yeah that's that was that's really wild cute. Wildwood Grove. So, all right, you ready to see all this stuff for real? I am. All right, let's go. And I don't think I've noticed this before over here by the uh, ticket booths. We have doggy wood. So you can bring your dog to Dollywood, and they can chill out here in this building while you're uh, having fun in the park. And here we are in Dollywood, entering right here. The Show Street Palace Theater. What do you think so far? It's very Dolly-y. Very Dolly-ish? Yes, I've seen people like in Dolly shirts and like marked on the cars and everyone's like, Woo, Dolly! Everyone's all hyped about Dolly? Yeah, I mean, me too, but. Are you wearing, a, you didn't wear a Dolly shirt. I don't have a Dolly You don't shirt. have a Dolly shirt? No, I have strawberry shortcake, that's close, right? Pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> See, they still have the uh, umbrellas up for the flower and food festival. Yeah, look at this. You can see the shadows of all these different umbrellas on the ground. Okay, so now it is time to finally enter the Dolly Parton experience. Last time I was here, just a little over a month ago, this area was blocked off. It wasn't finished. They were still doing construction. And look at that. They had not put in that big butterfly on the front yet. That's uh, new in the last month. And this area is now wide open. It's very sparkly. Oh my goodness, yeah. Yeah, I'm excited to check this out. I've been waiting for this uh, this to open. Looks like there may be a little bit of a line to get in, but I guess that's to be expected. To be expected with the new attraction here. So you see the big butterfly there. It says Dolly. And I, you hear the train? Yeah. Yeah, can you can go on the train later? Yeah, we can go on the train. You can hear, yeah, you can always hear the train like, Echoing, uh, echoing through the park. That's pretty cool. And then you can hear Dolly play. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just look at this. It's got like a really cool effect to it. You can see it like shimmering and moving. Yeah, it looks really spectacular here in front of the building. So I guess this is like the more museum type section. I guess it is called Song Teller, Dolly's Journey. So yeah, it does look like a little bit of line forming here. But uh, not too crazy long. I think we'll get in line and uh, enjoy the journey. Yeah, up here close to the butterfly. And I thought this was almost like a digital screen or something, but it's actually like an analog effect. There's just like these little 
pieces of shimmering material that uh, flutter in the wind, much like the wings of a butterfly. Okay, there was a little bit of a line, but nothing, uh, nothing too intense. Seems to be moving pretty fast. What's that? Two. All right, we're headed in. Oh, look who it is. It says, hello, I'm Dolly Part. It's glittery. It is glittery. All right, okay, you can see falling from the sky. We have fall leaves, handwritten song lyrics here as it gives us some of the backstory of Dolly. Let's give some backstory on Dolly Parton here growing up in the Smoky Mountains. There's her when she was three years old. Says she was the fourth of 12 children. Says uh, when Dolly was born, they uh, paid the doctor with a sack of cornmeal. And I guess probably the doctor probably looked back and thought, maybe, maybe, maybe I should collect more on that. Maybe, uh, maybe Dolly's worth more than a sack of cornmeal. <laughs> and here's Dolly's famous coat of many colors. Her, uh, her mother made her a coat out of different scraps of material from around the house because they were too poor to afford a new coat. Um, but they said Dolly was actually proud of it because she remembered Joseph and his coat of many colors in the Bible. But sadly, kids are jerks. And when she went to school, the, uh, the kids all teased and bullied her because she was poor, because she wore a coat made of scraps. I think... Oh, you hit the button there. Okay, yeah, and it illuminates illuminates the coat that all the kids teased her about, that all the kids made fun of her because of, but guess what? Dolly got the last laugh because she wrote a song about, uh, about the coat and it became the number four hit on the country music charts. And there she is as a child wearing the coat. As we enter this area, it's actually made to look like a giant bus. I guess chronicling her traveling to Nashville to begin her career as a country music star says I left my hometown a humming with my old guitar strumming songs that I had wrote I was on my way to Nashville oh here we see a picture of the mysterious Carl Dean the <laughs> husband of Dolly Parton that uh, he apparently hates the limelight he doesn't want to be photographed he doesn't want to go to fancy uh, award shows or anything like that so almost never seen in uh, in public and I believe that there is only two pictures of him publicly available so there we go a little glance of the mystery himself Carl Dean and yeah, a lot of interesting facts about Dolly in here for instance I will always love you and Jolene two of her absolute most famous songs were wrote on the same night it's absolutely insane I didn't know that That's, you didn't know that I'll never have a night like that <laughs> like that so. Jeez. <laughs> oh, Dolly got her start on the Porter Wagner show. Here's uh, two outfits from that era of her career. And this, I think this is super cool here. Look at that, one of Dolly's wigs there. I want to wear it. It's pretty amazing. You have to check the gift shop and see maybe if they, Dolly maybe if they have Dolly wigs. Do you think they have a Dolly mom too? I need that too. <laughs> I'll complete the whole outfit. <laughs> so this is pretty cool, These, uh, this new exhibit here. We have some selfie spots. There's a giant TV playing some of Dolly's uh, Dolly's clips here. And look at this, do you want, Jen? Do you want to you want to hop on the swing? Hop on the the Dolly swing there. There you go. Kick your feet up. Wee. Yeah, I want to ride on the Dolly swing. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> if you ever bail this way! <laughs> yeah! Talks here about Dolly's debut in Hollywood. These are all outfits she wore in the film 925. And I guess that's the wig she would have worn in 9 to 5. All these wigs makes me really curious. I don't know if there is a picture in existence of Dolly Parton, like out of Dolly Parton gear. <laughs> Like, you won't find me without Crocs and my hat, but uh, I don't know. You think Dolly removes the wig, the clothes? I don't know if you would even recognize her. And look what we have here. We have the nine to five photo op here. We have uh, Dolly Parton, Lily Tomlin, and Jane Fonda 
who played uh, three women in an office who abduct their uh, their boss because he's a sexist and sexually harasses them and treats them poorly because they're women, but they uh, end up uh, getting revenge. Do you want to uh, do you want to do you want to get behind the desk, Jen? All right. Work, work, work. Work. <laughs> Uh, answer the phone. I think it's ringing. Oh, never mind. It's cool. it's not that kind of phone. <laughs> it turned into a hand phone. There you go. <laughs> so I've not seen this. This is from the 2019 Netflix uh, movie Heartstring. This is a show. Now this is something I'm not necessarily familiar with. This is from a uh, 2019 Netflix miniseries called Heartstrings. Some more outfits. Have you seen Heartstrings, Jen? Maybe we might have to. You're gonna have to have a Dolly Parton marathon. You said you'd never seen Nine to Five either. No. Yeah, we may have to do a binge of Dolly Parton movies. I know, I'm <laughs> and here's some Dolly Parton guitars. Of course, Dolly Parton, not just a singer, she also writes her own songs and plays guitar. So a collection of her guitars here. This is this was uh, donated by the House of Blues here. This is a, a butterfly guitar. So this is one that she used quite a bit here. You can see the butterflies and flowers inscripted on there. And then the Bobby McGee guitar says that she uh, had a vintage tour where she performed the classic song Me and Bobby McGee by uh, Janis Joplin on this song. And then we have the Guitar of Many Colors. It's themed after the coat. And uh, it says she actually played this on The Voice. See over here a wall of golden records. And this is pretty cool. There's like a giant self-playing guitar here with uh, Dolly Parton projections. Looks like it plays several uh, different songs. Looks like this guitar here plays like a whole concert. This is actually a really, really cool effect. It's World on Fire. There's a floating world burning right there. Yeah, this is really cool. Jen, go stand in front of the guitar to show how, show how huge this thing is. Yeah, this absolute massive guitar here. It plays all these different songs, and all the different effects here. It's actually really cool. I really, I really love this effect. So you can see the guitar here. I guess it morphs into different designs for each different performance. Okay, it goes back to the standard guitar. Oh, oh, is it silent? Is it stopped? Are we gonna get? We're we gonna get another song here. It stopped. I broke. I don't know how. Just with my presence. Maybe it, is it going to start here in a second? Is there a motion sensor? Yeah. You can turn it on. <laughs> see if there's a motion. Oh, oh wait. There we go. There was a motion sensor. Here it goes. Oh, it turns into the blue guitar. This is the House of Blue, the House of Blues guitar. So it turns into some of the guitars that are in the collection. Oh, they're playing. Uh, spelling out Dolly there at the top. Looks like they're going to play a round of Jolene, one of my favorite Dolly songs. This is the Hall of Collaborations here. You see uh, Dolly there. Oh, that's with uh, Kenny Rogers and the guy from the, the Bee Gees. There's uh, Barry, Barry, Barry Gibbs. You know, more, you know more about music than I do. That's Barry Gibbs. So yeah, see some of the other collaborations. Garth Brooks. And that's uh, John Belushi. Well, there she is with uh, Whitney Houston, who covered uh, I Will Always Love You. Yeah, look at all these collaborations. It's Mick Jagger up there. Look at this, she even collaborated with one Pee Wee Herman. Wait, what kind of room is this? Hello. Oh. So this is like a 360, 360 theater in here. Oh, look at that. The mountains there. Oh, there's uh, Dolly's cabin here. Dolly, you know, Dolly's childhood cabin is actually here on the property of Dollywood. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at this. There's a little Dolly up here in there. The church here. They used to actually have a replica of the church in the old... Uh, in the old exhibit. I guess it's now we just have the digital church. This is the Ryman Auditorium here, the, grand, the original home of the Grand Old Opry. 
Yeah, we have Nashville here. It's the sign for the Ernest Tubb Record Shop. That's actually closed down just like a couple years ago. Talks here about her book program where she gives books to school children. And they actually have a counter here on uh, how many books have been given over the years. And uh, when Anna was little, she actually used to receive uh, books in the mail from Dolly Parton. It just Did it just go up? Yeah. Oh, so someone got some books while we were just standing here. So I thought that was pretty amazing. I think it was very well done. They used a lot of projections, but I think they did so in a very artful way. Uh, really kind of, yeah, kind of an amazing, amazing upgrade. Um, I love the old exhibit. In some ways I do like the old exhibit in certain ways better, but I think I think this is definitely, um, definitely very striking. What do you think, Jen? I mean, I never saw the old, old exhibit, <laughs> but I was telling you in there, like, if you come to this park just as, like, a theme park, like, you're going to leave caring about it <laughs> because oh, yeah. it's just so cool. And I don't know, I'm not really big on screens, like, at museums and stuff. Yeah. I'm like, oh, keep walking, but this was so well done. I thought the guitar was really amazing, yeah, the guitar really, that really could really playing the different songs. Yeah. No, I liked it a lot. Yeah, it's really and cool. And the Bobby McGee guitar was very, like, it's one of my favorite <laughs> uh, songs and everything, so I was like, oh, <laughs> Now there's another building here. This is behind the seams, Dolly's Life in Rhinestones. This originally was a store called Dolly's Closet where they sold uh, Dolly Parton inspired fashion. Uh, but it looks like it's been converted into a more museum-like attraction. So uh, let's check this out. All right. This is behind the seams. Okay, so this is pretty, pretty amazing, I guess. Pretty much an exhibit based on uh, Dolly Parton's fashion sense. See the Dolly Parton brand makeup in there with one of her wigs. Again, I'm curious, is there a picture of her that exists where she's not wearing a wig? I feel I feel like she could be anyone. Like maybe she's like it's almost like a soup almost like a superhero where like she the like Clark Kent. Yeah, like the Clark like, like as soon as she throws the wig on and the and the sparkly outfit, she just suddenly becomes Dolly. Super Dolly. It talks about uh, how her custom costumes are designed and created. And check out this, the drawer here is just all Whoa. rhinestones. This is the inside of my brain. Just glittering. <laughs> Wait, happiness. your brain is full of shiny rhinestones? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's why I like it here so much. I want the wigs and I want the bling. It's awesome. Feel like the beauty. shiny beads and poofs there. Yeah, I want some of those dresses. <laughs> Oh yeah, it almost, it's almost like pieces of jewelry. It's almost like her clothes themselves wear jewelry. See the sewing machine over here, showing how everything comes comes together. I guess these are like different plans for outfits. Like almost like a, a plotting board where they plot out what Dolly's outfits are gonna look like. Yeah, it's just crazy. You do think, you know, every time you see her, it seems like she's wearing something different. Some of Dolly's jewelry here, but look at that. That's a sketch of Dolly dressed like a deer, like a reindeer. I want to be a Dolly deer. You want to be a Dolly reindeer? Yeah, that's my new life goal, is to be a Dolly reindeer. All right, well, good, good luck on that. Thank you. So the swatches of fabric here. Here you can dress up Dolly, where it's almost like a paper Dolly, where you put her clothes on. I guess this is this is standard Dolly in her farmer's daughter outfit. What's that? What do you want to hear? What do you want her to wear, Jen? I want her to wear the bell dress. The bell, the bell dress. Yes, I think it looks like bell. <laughs> all right. So. Oh no, I made her all. Oh, you better, better straighten her out. Get on your arm, Dolly. This is very difficult. It's like a, it's like a big magnet. Yeah. Is the magnet too strong, Jen? Yes, it really is. Okay. Oh, oh, her bra's showing. Oh no! Oh no! Now her little shoulder. Okay. Here. Aha! Uh -huh. There we go. There she's, we go. She's dressed like Belle. Yeah. Um, we got to get her um, the guitar. Which guitar do you want? Uh, the, this is the. Yeah, the coat one. Or how about the banjo? Oh, that's cool. Let's give her a banjo. She needs a wig. She does need a wig. <laughs> Which wig do you like? This one right here? Yes. All right, let's uh... See, oh. it's hard. There we go, and we've made... That's not on her head. That's not on her head? There we so. go. <laughs> and there we go, we made our own custom uh, custom dolly there. Hey, she's lovely. 
So these are all dresses that she wore while accepting awards here. And you do get a new appreciation seeing all these wigs are like all the different styles of wigs that uh, that Dolly will wear. The famous line from Dolly, it costs a lot to look this cheap. And I remember, I forget what talk show it was. I remember seeing her on a talk show where she was saying that there was like one lady in town that everyone looked down on, that everyone considered her to be, you know, kind of a, a low class person. But Dolly said she thought she was the most beautiful lady in town and uh, modeled, uh, modeled her look after her. Here's the uh, Dolly shoe collection. Yeah, I guess Dolly, Dolly don't wear Crocs. She's got little I have to um, eliminate the heels from my Dolly look. I'm gonna be Dolly and Crocs. Well, if you're gonna be Dolly reindeer, you need to be wear hooves. <laughs> That's true, okay, I will wear hooves. <laughs> And I, I, I will always love shoes. <laughs> says that she wore this on the Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. See up here some uh, Dolly merchandise, some Dolly dolls. This is a newer outfit. This is from just last year, 2023. So she wore this while she was promoting her new uh, rock album entitled Rock Star. Yeah, these Dolly Rock Star clothes are pretty amazing. And check out these shoes here. Look how cool they are. <laughs> this crazy motorcycle helmet. It says this is the album cover outfit from, uh, from Rock Star. Mannequin feet are still pointing like they're ready for her. Oh, yeah, the mannequin <laughs> mannequin has like Barbie feet. Yeah, so I she think can, Dolly just permanently has Barbie feet. You think Dolly's feet actually are yeah, shaped like that? Like that, like in the Barbie movie. Like, Jesus. <laughs> oh, over here is a bunch, a bunch of Dolly wigs. Although this display kind of reminds me of uh, Mombi from Return to Oz, where she had all the different heads in glass cases. Yeah, let's take a quick look at. Some of these amazing Dolly wigs. I think this one might actually be Dee Snyder's wig. <laughs> I guess this is Marie Antoinette Dolly. This is uh, David Bowie Dolly. <laughs> I think this is just classic uh, Grand Ole Opry Dolly. I really like these ones. These are ones I guess that she wore for uh, events in the park. This is the homecoming parade for 2009. I guess she dressed like a park ranger to celebrate the uh, birthday of the uh, of the uh, national park. And uh, this is, I, she wore this here in the park at the debut of the Big Bear Mountain roller coaster opening. See, it's like dressed like a black bear. And then even has the, uh, the bear ears and bees there on her wig. Oh, there's her purse is a pot of honey. It's like a fairy-like outfit. And it says she wore this at the opening of Dreamland Forest. And honestly, sitting here, I have no idea what Dreamland Forest was here at Dollywood. I don't know if that must not have lasted very long as, uh, as an attraction, because I've never heard of it. If, you, uh, if anyone remembers what Dreamland Forest was, leave a comment in the comment section. This is the homecoming parade in 2005. This is the, wore this in the Heart Song Theater film. And this is from the 2008 Dollywood Rose Ceremony. I really like the stars. Oh, the stars on the... Yeah, yeah. and this one's really cool too. Yeah, I like that. And over here we have Dolly Parton's tour bus. And the tour bus used to actually be parked right over there right next to the building with the butterfly on it. But I guess they've moved it over here. And so, uh, yeah, let's take a peek inside Dolly's Home on Wheels. All right, heading in, Dolly's tour bus. This was her bus from 1994 to 2009. Little kitchen in here. I guess this is where Dolly could maybe sit, maybe play some cards, maybe strum her guitar in the evenings. See some of the beds in here. Now these aren't Dolly's beds. These are for the uh, crew on the bus. It says Don, 
Judy, and I guess it's just an extra bed. And here is a little bathroom. Or is that where you take a dolly doll. <laughs> oh, Jen, come on. <laughs> I thought you were gonna cut it. <laughs> Jen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, back here, I guess this is Dolly's quarters back here. She has a pretty sizable shower, a lot of room for her makeup and whatnot. Oh, look at the pink brushes there. and stuff. The pink brushes. Yeah, the makeup brushes. Yeah, she's got all her makeup pink stuff pink. there. And uh, then here's Dolly's, Dolly's bedroom in here. She's got a nice, nice private bedroom in here. Uh, looks like she's got her Bible there. You get pictures of her of her family members and a guitar laid out on her bed. Yeah, peek in the shower here. Just imagine how many times Dolly scrubbed herself clean in this little tub shower here. Let's up here to the driver's seat. Yeah, you can see the leather up here is pink where the driver would sit. Got a little phone there next to the window. Oh yeah, there's a little butterfly on the back of the seat there. But yeah, you sit here and take Dolly across the country to perform music. And the last thing they've added to this area here is uh, Dolly's fan shop. I think this used to be the season pass office over here at Dollywood. Let's see the uh, Dolly Parton Experience t-shirts here. And uh, some drinking receptacles. Oh yeah, look at this. These are the little guitars. Little guitars from the exhibit that we saw. Is this is this Bobby McGee right here, yes. Jen? That's a guitar of many colors. Hey, take a little, little mini Dolly guitar home. Yeah, lots of Dolly inspired clothing here. I like this one. Look down here, Jen. They got they, they got Dolly on. Funkos. Do you have you have these already? No. You don't have a Dolly Funko? Mm -hmm. There's the Dolly record. And there's a performing dolly there. So these are dolly guitar straps. I called it a belt, and then the lady that works here corrected me. It says, in dolly, we trust. Here's some of the different guitars. But these are in Christmas ornament form. Oh, look at this, Jen. We got Dolly Parton black bear ears. I really want them. Oh, no. Are they... <laughs> and one last very small thing I noticed they have changed here. They used to be in this in this flower bed here. They would have little plaques of different country musicians that uh, Dolly was fans of. But it looks like those were removed during the renovations. All right, Jen, you got your barriers on. I am. Ready for the rest of uh, Dollywood? Yes, the train. We're gonna head over the train. Yes. All right. <laughs> Some chalk art here by Jamie Hauser. And the last time I was here, last time I was here, it had been raining, so all the chalk art was washed away. We can finally get a look at it. The black bear there in the tree, and the uh, swan down there. And check out this sloshy bucket fountain. Now a little bit more of Dolly Parton history over here, even though they were no longer in the Dolly Parton Experience section. This is the Tennessee Mountain Home. This is a recreation of the home Dolly Parton grew up in. My understanding is that Dolly Parton's brother came to the park and helped build this. All right, let's take a peek in Dolly's childhood home here. I always like how the uh, wallpaper is like newspapers and catalog advertisements. Oh, is that the uh, is that the coat of many colors down there? Let's see the kitchen here, and uh, I believe didn't earlier it say that Dolly had twelve or eleven siblings. She was one of twelve, so I only see I only see two beds and a crib. So. I don't know where all the kids necessarily fit. Yeah, you can see the overalls hanging up there next to the next to the bed. Our 
Jen wanted to ride the train here at Dollywood. Of course, Dollywood has one of the most legit trains of any amusement park. Now let's see if we can get on this, this go round. Now there's an absolute massive line for the train. Now the train was closed last time I was here, so it's only reopened recently for the year. Uh, so I guess everyone's excited to uh, hop aboard here. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna be able to catch this train. There's a lot of people here. What'd you get there? Peach lemonade. Yep. Is it good? It's amazing. It's delicious. I don't know if I like peaches in my lemonade. Uh, I don't know if you like peaches in general, honestly. Not that much. <laughs> they're my favorite. All right, looks like they're boarding the train, but there's quite a few people waiting here to get on uh, said train. Looks like they're packing them in here. Packing them in, but there may be maybe a few too many people to pack completely in. Almost made it, almost made it. There is like maybe a dozen or so people in front of us that didn't make it as well. I have a long history of almost making the train at Dollywood. There's one time, one of my prize uh, accomplishments is I actually, they cut the line off right in front of my face. I was like, oh, they're stopped. I'm like, I'm one person. They're like, yeah, the train's full. You're gonna have to wait. You're gonna have to wait an hour. Is that what you're gonna say? I'm just a little bear. Like, I'm just a little bear. <laughs> I'm not a little bear on the train. Is that how women's bear does? Yeah. <laughs> and there we can see the train leaving Goodbye. without us. We got about an hour, about an hour wait until uh, until the next train departs. All right, wait here in this enclosed area for the uh, train to show back up. All right, everybody get on the train. Jen, get on the train. <laughs> Uh, for despite a seat. Oh, oh, I think some over here. All right, Jen, now normally I ride in the back of the train. It's a wilder ride. But this is your first time on the train, I said we sit up here in the first car. Oh. So it wouldn't, although the, the first car. Well, say everybody take a look. You have to worry about getting Senior cinders. You're right all the way over. Yeah, like yeah there's cinders from the train the into your train. eyeballs. Probably about nine or 10 adults per row. Wow. We like to get yeah, nine or ten. We're already sitting. We've never done that before. Oh, We'd like to sit just once, maybe. What? But yeah, if you bring your ears, like, yeah, oh yeah, don't. Your ears over. might catch on fire from, over. Over. from the cinders in the yeah. air. Yeah. Yeah. Watch, watch them. Okay. <laughs> be sure to have all small children. In What's wrong? The road they just said that they would safely remove the cinder for you and not to rub it. Yeah, if you get a cinder, I don't rub it. Just leave it in there until we get back to the station. And scream. I mean, don't scream, that would upset everyone. I would scream! <laughs> this sounds like a very dangerous place. <laughs> if you haven't tried any of that cinnamon brand, you definitely need to. I'd get two loads though, because one's not going to make it back to the car. They all just keep on waving and being friendly. And in only nine months, what they said being possible head there. became possible. The Alcan Military Highway. to the engine way, but our engineer up there, that's Rob. You like the train noises? I do, I keep doing that. Is that what you're dancing to? The, yeah. The train noises? Oh, okay. Yeah. Just waiting for the choo-choo? Yeah. Dish dogs right now? We're going to be doing this. With each season and with each pair of eyes. Oh, you got cinders on you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're all covered in coal. I am. <laughs> That's pretty fun. Yeah. Woo.
that everybody let's get the engineer problem. Oh no. Oh, don't get any cinders in your eyes, Jen. Oh, that's Hey folks, look up there through the smoke and wave at our fireman. That's Steven up there. Oh no, the train stopped. Maybe there's a maybe there's a bunny on the train. Yeah, I don't think I've ever been on the train when there was a stoppage before. Hopefully you don't have to be evac. Jen, are you worried? Oh, oh, where are we going? Sorry about that, folks. We're going to start moving again. All right, we're going to start moving again. Hooray! Hooray. All right, there we go. Starting to lurch a little bit. All right, back on track. Literally. <laughs> Looks like we are pulling back into well, the station. Time for you to gather up all your personal belongings. Hey, look, everybody! It's Adam the Woo. What? <laughs> this building here, over by the train. This used to be a magic shop. It looks now just to be empty. So, Jim, what did you think? of your very first train ride. I thought it was really fun. I um, didn't know why it stopped. I thought maybe there was like an animal in the track. Yeah, I don't know. I've never I've never heard it. I've never seen it stop before. So and I still have like Are you covered in like coal. Yeah, and then I accidentally rubbed it into my shirt. So um, Yeah, no, it's legit. It's it's a coal burning it, that's why it's like kind of one of a kind. Um, I think uh, there's some other parks that have similar trains, but not very many. And it, it's like a coal burning train. So it does actually it actually does send like coal smoke on you, and yes, I've heard people scream, getting like the cinders in Wait, their you've eyes. Heard that? Oh yeah, I've like in person. Oh yeah, it happens all the time. I mean, something did go in my eye, but it wasn't like burning. No, so I, I think, think usually if you like wear glasses, I think if you wear glasses, you're usually well, okay. Well, not glasses, but like the. But yeah, I've heard people like uh, get upset before. It's yeah, it's part of riding a train. It's I it's, mean, I guess. It's, 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 it's it's. They said five. Was it five tons of coal that it uses each day? That's a lot of coal. I mean, that's a lot of coal. <laughs> their own personal coal mine to keep this thing running. Yeah, seriously. And the track was a lot bigger than I expected. Yeah, it like, takes you all around the entire park. Yeah, it was really cool. Temple's Warehouse and Dry Goods. Train has some souvenirs. Train souvenirs. If I like the train, I'm like, can we look at the train You want to look at the train souvenirs? Yes. <laughs> Oh yeah, we got some train merchandise here. Some train shirts with the Dollywood Express on it. Yeah, you can see uh, a little wood model of the Dollywood Express. Are you playing with the snow globes there, Jen? Yeah, I can do our snow globes. Globe, 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 globe there's this big one here. Is that Klondike Kate in there? I think there's actually two trains. I think it's Klondike Kate and uh, Cinderella. Oh yeah, look, they actually have models of the two trains. This is, is it called Cinderella because of the cinders? Yeah, it's called Cinderella because it puts cinders in your <laughs> oh eyes. Oh my goodness. So that's, that's Cinderella. Really so you can either put together uh, Cinderella or uh, Klondike Kate there. This is, Klondike Kate is 192. So this is Klondike Kate. This is the one we were just, the one we were just on. I like Cinderella. You like Cinderella? <laughs> yeah, it was really funny. Uh-oh, what'd you see? Said, oh no, before I, I did. <laughs> That's Whoa. the uh, it's the coat of many colors. Coat of many colors, bear. bear. Does it say Dolly? It says Dolly on his little foot. Jacob, look at him. <laughs> there's Dolly, too. There's coat of many oh, colors, Dolly. Really and the guitar. And the guitar. And oh, look and at there's a little ornament. Look at that. And then you got oh. there's Dolly, the Dolly doll there wearing the coat of many colors. Oh, and here's the oh, and there's a hoodie. I think this is either new or seasonal, these uh, little hanging tassels on this walkway. All right, Jim, what do you think? You wanna go for a ride on Blazing Fury? Yes, but it's still scary. You're scared? Like, fire in the hole was not like... Yeah, you liked fire in the hole. Like, it's the same but ride. You told me where all the drops were. Yeah, and I can tell you again. Well, I told you not to, but now I'm like retracting that. You want like me to tell you? Me all right, I'll tell you. Okay. 
Let's uh, hop aboard. Our chariot awaits. Here we go. Here we go. Everyone's so excited and I'm just like, oh. You're worried, Jen? Oh my goodness. There's cat and everything. All right. Yeah, I'll tell you. Promise? I'll tell you when the drops are coming. I haven't made my way up. It's the old no. saloon there. <laughs> The outlaw shooting a gun at us. Look at that guy right there. Everyone's gonna think I'm a big bullet. <laughs> that's okay. Dirt toast. Woo! Molly, you be careful because I got a week back. Got a week back. Uh, no. A little one. Not really a drop, just like a little divot. Yeah, I spray them water there. Electric water. I've never been in the front car before, Kate. Never been in the front car? No. You're looking at the cool figures and stuff, and I'm just like, oh. Don't be scared. <laughs> We're going up to that bridge, Jen. And, and then, then once we get to the bridge, we drop. Okay. Aren't there like three drops or something? Uh, I think three, yeah. This bridge? Yep. Oh, because the bridge is out. The bridge is out. So here we got to win a drop. Oh, no. You okay? <laughs> you, you okay, Jen? Yeah, You're good. So. You're all good. <laughs> Low bridge. Now here it comes. We're going in the train tunnel. And then instead of running oh, into the train, no, no, no. then we're going to drop. I'm so oh, close. And then we're going to do it. We two drops. Okay. Then, okay. fire in the hole. Oh my god. Okay. All right, Jen, so you rode the old, the old fire in the hole at Silver Dollar City. You haven't rode the new one. Mm -mm. But now you finally got a chance to check on the Dollywood version, Blazing Fury. What did you think? Um, it was just as scary. Just as scary? <laughs> Such a was. <laughs> it's okay. You gotta build. You gotta build yourself up with roller yeah. coasters. No, I psyched myself out originally. I was like, no, do not tell me. And then this time I was like, yes, you have to tell me. Yeah, or I don't want to know. This. You know where the drops are. Then, you know, you know, that's what you start. You start little and you do big. I used to and be afraid. I was, I was scared the first time I rode this. I hadn't rode roller coasters in a long time, so. And um, you. He lined for the front car, and I was like, "Oh, I like the front oh, car. You just no. get a better view of both. You get a better view of both sides of the track. <laughs> and so isn't it like more steep? Like, it seems like on the front here, you, uh, you get a little bit. It seems like you get a little more air time in the front car when you go back up. Yeah, no, it was scary. Are you shaking? I am. I <laughs> think so. That's okay. Would you do it again? Yeah, no, I really do like it. You like, like it? I, I know I seem like a big wuss, but no, I do enjoy it. <laughs> I'm slowly like inching my way. Yeah, you well, said I have to do like the slinky dog. Yeah, I think coaster. I think I think you should try some Disney roller coasters. I think you'd like them. Okay, I, I think so. All right. <laughs> and this is interesting. I don't think I remember this. I don't think I don't even know if this was here when I was here um, uh, a month or so ago. Really? Of this rainbow hanging over here looks like pool noodles. <laughs> uh, I don't know, possibly. I don't know. It possibly could be up for uh, for June. Possibly. Yeah. This could be. I think this might be for Pride Month. All right, Jen, is your first trip to Dollywood. It's a rite of passage. You got to get, you got to be an owl. Over here, you got to get in the owl's nest. Oh, there you go. You're a baby owl. That's the Jacob pose. Pop, pop, that's me? That's how I pose? Yeah. How do you pose? Kind of the same way. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> See, they're doing some construction here. It says, parting our dust. Instead of pardon our dust, 
what you normally say, but it says Parton because, you know, Dolly Parton. That's her last name. All right, now Jen uh, told me this was the ride she wanted to check out at Dollywood. <laughs> it's true. We got the uh, Black Bear Trail here. It's a ride on the back of a Black Bear. Oh, you got your ears ready? All right, you know, <laughs> time to time to saddle up. Yeah, I uh, wanted to ride Moose on the Loose at Darien. And yeah, Moose. You told they have, me they had one like it here. Yeah, they have a similar ride called Moose on the Loose at Darien Lake, and uh, near Niagara Falls. And this is kind of the Dollywood version of Moose on the Loose. Instead of uh, Mooses, they have Black Bear. Yeah, it was the train. Um, fire in the hole, the different fire in the hole. What's it called here? The train. Blazing Fury, Blazing Fury and the Bear. So you got a Blazing Saddles. Complete, I'm like, no, that's like Blazing 12. Saddles. <laughs> you got to complete your uh, complete your uh, your checklist here. Yes. Yeah, so All right. Like some pretty wussy rides. But All right, I'm Jen. Gonna get, you're gonna get saddle up on that bear. Yes. <laughs> oh, look at that! There she comes, Jen. You excited? <laughs> you love riding a bear? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. All the kids were jealous and lied about you. Oh, they all wanted to. Here, we see if I can catch, keep, keep up with like, you. She's Minnie Mouse. They thought you were Minnie Mouse? Yeah. Were you like, I'm a bear? <laughs> oh, Jen, what happened? I jolted forward all of a sudden. Don't lose your ears. <laughs> Hang on tight. Here, I'll follow along with you. Okay. Yeah, put your ears back on. <laughs> All right, heading through the. There's the big bear up there. I like the little bear. You like the little bear? Roman He's got his little Roman Reigns yeah. necklace on. Your bear's name is Roman Reigns. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see if I can get ahead of you a little bit. <laughs> Chad, woo! Right, there she goes sailing off into the sunset. Just noticed over here in the splash area, there's all these random pickup trucks. I don't know if these are just for uh, for decoration, but yeah, a bunch of old pickup trucks over here underneath the wildwood tree. Huh. They're like every painting at home goods. <laughs> Making some music? Yeah. You writing a song about bears? Yeah, it's like Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. That's the only song you know about bears? There's Teddy Bear Picnic. Oh, yeah. yeah. I actually know this well because I filmed to go find bears and like I was trying to think of songs. You were, trying, so, you're, you were composing an all yeah, bear my, playlist? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like Buzz is a lot quieter than he used to be. Maybe they turned him down <laughs> because he was annoying people with his constant talking. Jen, who's your favorite lumberjack of all time? Well, he's pretty good. But my favorite <laughs> is butt cut Billy Christmas. End of the day here, everyone pouring out of Dollywood. So Jen, your very first time to Dollywood. What do you what do you think? I thought it was a lot of fun. The bears definitely pushed it over. There. You like the bears? Were the bears your favorite? Yes. I or did really you like, like the bears. Did you like Blazing Fury? Well yes, yes. No. But I wrote that at Silver Dollar City, so it wasn't as like so the bears was more of a new experience. Yeah. What do you think of like the exhibit, the new Dolly? It was so experience. good. Yeah, it was really, really well done. I was, uh, I, I didn't know what to expect really. I didn't watch any of the previews or any of else's videos, and um, yeah, I was really surprised. This, the use of the projections, the artistry to it was really, really nice. No, it was really impressive. Like sometimes, like I said, I don't care for the screens as much yeah, as like yeah. other stuff, but it was really, really well done. Absolutely. Well, thank you guys for joining us today here at Dollywood. Jen's got some cinnamon bread to bring home. Yes, <laughs> and I'm excited. 
Again, if you like these videos, please subscribe. I travel around the country. I film roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun random stuff. If uh, you'd like to help support the channel, consider contributing to Patreon. $3 or more. Get your postcard once a month from me to you. Uh, I have enamel pins in the Etsy shop. We're trying to get some new things in the old Etsy shop, hopefully pretty soon. In the works. In the works. All right. <laughs> and, uh, of course, per giving you personalized messages on Cameo and all those things. There is uh, information in the description of this video and all that. It goes to help keep this train Cinderella. on the... This, keep Cinderella <laughs> on the track. This boat in the water and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, my friends, this one's... In the bag. In the cinnamon. I don't know. Yeah. Fred? Yeah. In the bag. <laughs>